Hello, everybody. KG here, founder of the Internet Money Crypto Wallet. And today we are bringing you another exciting walkthrough and tutorial of a long awaited feature heavily requested by the community. This feature is what is known as the injected provider style of connecting to dApps. Now, if you're not familiar with what that means, don't worry. We're going to walk you through it. But in short, it is the best way and the most assured way to connect to and transact on all crypto dApps. Even if the dApp doesn't necessarily show internet money wallet, internet money can still be connected to that dApp and transact on that dApp. This video is relevant for our Chrome extension only to see how to connect and transact on dApps through our Android and iOS apps. You can find that link in the description below. There will be chapters at the bottom of this video, so you can skip to the relevant section of the tutorial that you are looking for. With that, let's jump right into it. One really important thing to note going into this is that every dApp is configured a little different. So there isn't a one size fits all how to for every single dApp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you examples of what a few different dApps look like. And out there in your travels, this should cover 99% of cases. And if it doesn't, it should arm you with enough knowledge to get around that 1% case where a dApp may have something quirky going on. So each case, I'll walk you through it and we'll take it step by step. Step one in this is if you have multiple wallets installed. In this example, I have internet money and MetaMask installed. You may see weird bugs or issues or just quirks going on when you're connecting to dApps. So the best thing to do is to only keep one wallet enabled at a time when transacting on the dApps. Now, if you do decide to disable one of the wallets, don't worry, it's not going to delete the wallet or delete your information. But just to be safe, always make sure your seed phrase and private keys are properly stored. But you should be doing that anyways outside of this tutorial. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions. And I'll also drop that in the description as well. And once you're here, it's a simple flick of a switch. MetaMask is now disabled. If you want to re-enable it, go right back here and you can re-enable it and you can see it came back. Again, for a smoother experience when you're using multiple wallets, you should disable the other ones while you transact to save yourself some headaches. Now that internet money is our only wallet that is enabled, let's jump into the first example of a dApp connection. Here we will use Uniswap. In my opinion, this is the pinnacle of what a dApp connection experience should be like. When you're ready, head up to connect. You're gonna see a modal pop up, click on other wallets, and you can see that internet money was detected. If the dApp is optimized and built out as it should be, internet money will just automatically be detected without any other configurations. So I'm gonna click on internet money, and you can see that the internet money wallet pops up here. I'm gonna type in my password, or if you had a passcode, you would type that in, or if the wallet was already unlocked, you wouldn't have to type it in. Click continue, and you can see that Uniswap is requesting to connect to my wallet. If I had multiple accounts, you could select those accounts here, click connect, and that's it, I'm connected. And the same goes for transacting. If I wanted to do a transaction, in this case, it's a swap. I just fill out the necessary items. And then it's going to pop up here. And then I can confirm, reject, edit my gas settings, and so on. The second example of a connection method, we'll use PulseX. Now, this is still basically the same as Uniswap, but with one difference. Let's click on Connect Wallet. 
Now you can see there's no internet money logo. Well, internet money is still technically detected. The PulseX DAP is just not configured to show custom detected injections. So if you see this injected symbol on any DAPs, that is referring to the internet money wallet. So we'll click on that and you can see that the PulseX DAP is requesting to connect to my internet money wallet. Click connect. And now you'll see that it's asking me to switch to Pulse Chain because from connecting on Uniswap earlier in the video, I was on Ethereum. So some dApps are not configured to request the chain switch. A good dApp is. If the dApp you're connecting to does not prompt you to switch chains, you will have to go into your wallet and switch the chain manually. Now you can see I am connected and my wallet is on Pulse Chain. And transacting will be exactly the same as example one in the video with the difference of how we connected to the dApp. In example three, we're going to connect to go.hex.com. Now this dApp is a very special case. So you can see that there is physically nowhere to connect my wallet. That's because this dApp is expecting MetaMask. The only wallet that can connect to this dApp is MetaMask. So what you have to do is within your internet money wallet, go to settings, Scroll down to disguise as MetaMask. Turn this on. What we've now done is we've put the internet money wallet in the state to where it's going to trick dApps to think that it is MetaMask. So we can close out, refresh the dApp, and you will now see the connect button appear. So let's click connect. And just like we did before, connect. We're now connected when MetaMask is the only option. Example number four, we're going to use bridge.pulsechain.com. The reason this one is in here is another special case. If we click on connect wallet, you will see that internet money is actually natively supported on the Pulse Chain bridge. But as you can see, the only connection style is through wallet connect. So if you want to have the injected experience, while your wallet is disguised as MetaMask, if you wanna know how to do that, go back to example three in this video, just click on MetaMask, and again, you will get the injected experience. Whereas, if you click on internet money, it's going to walk you through connecting as the wallet connect experience. So I'll click on MetaMask, and I will connect. And you can see my internet money wallet is connected. In example number five, we're going to use base swap. The reason we're using this one as an example is because it's using a different connector called Rainbow Kit. Now you don't really need to know what all that means, but it is slightly different in how it looks. So let's click on connect wallet. And you can see it's slightly different from wallet connect and some of the other modals that we've been seeing. In this case, it did automatically detect internet money, which is great. Sometimes when dApps are using Rainbow Kit, it does not. So if it does not show internet money automatically, again, go back to example three in this video, disguise your wallet as MetaMask, and you can connect as expected. Now, the final point in this tutorial is how to disconnect your wallet from the dApps you've connected to. Some dApps, when you disconnect from the dApp themselves, it'll automatically disconnect from the internet money wallet. But sometimes you have to go into the settings of the wallet and manually disconnect from the dApp. Some dApps are better than others about this. Go down to settings and you'll see injected and wallet connect. If you've connected via wallet connect, you can go in here. But if you've connected via injection, Click on Injected DAPs, and you can click Disconnect to all the DAPs you're connected to. And that brings us to the end of this video. In conclusion, when you're out there navigating the world of DeFi, connecting to DAPs, there are three things that you want to remember if things get a little quirky or don't seem to be working right. Thing number one 
is make sure that you only have internet money enabled at the time of doing the transactions. That's not to say it won't work if you have others enabled, but you will have a much smoother experience if internet money is your only wallet enabled. This is true for all wallets in general. Number two is make sure that you disconnect from the DAP within internet money itself. Sometimes DAPs don't recognize that wallets are disconnected and it can cause some weird communication between the wallet and the DAP. So make sure you disconnect from within the wallet. Number three is if things get really weird or quirky, this goes for all wallets you're using, not just internet money. You can clear your cash or clear local storage of the DAP itself. Doing this sort of resets the DAPs to their default state and allows you to have a from scratch, clean start interacting with the DAP. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. Please click subscribe. If you're watching this on X, repost, hit that follow button. We appreciate all of your support. We will continue to make tutorials and how to's going into the future. So if there's anything you want to see that we have not yet created, please let us know. Again, my name is KG. I am the founder of internet money. Stay safe. And remember, not your keys, not your coins. Peace. Got